Sparkies, Mrs. Dubé here with Sparky. Hey. Sparky, do you feel sad sometimes? Yeah. What makes you feel sad? Not being able to be with friends. Yeah, when we're not able to be with friends, that can make us sad. That's true. What about when you're scared? What makes you scared, Sparky? What makes me scared is loud noises and big things. Oh, right, because you're a little firefly because you're small. Yeah. yeah, big noises could be scary sometimes, huh? So what do you do when you're feeling sad or scared? Well, when I'm sad or scared, I make sure to try to talk with God and to sing praises to him. Those are two very good ideas. So Sparky's... When you feel sad or scared, you really need to tell your parents. And you can always turn to God, right? You can pray to God right then and tell him that you're not feeling good. And you can always sing songs. Maybe you could sing a song like, Jesus Loves Me. Right, Sparky? Yeah. So let's try singing, Jesus Loves Me. We'll just do one verse right now, okay? So Sparky's going to help us, right? Uh-huh. Okay, Sparky, you can do it. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Good job! And good job, Sparky. All right, thanks, Sparky, for hanging out with us. We'll see you later, okay? Right. Bye, everyone. <laughs> so... Our lesson today is about when you're not feeling good because maybe you feel sad or scared. Chloe in our story is feeling a little lonely and sad, isn't she? Well, our verse that you guys were memorizing today is in Deuteronomy, which is a really big word, isn't it? It is the fourth book of the Bible, and it's a very important one. Moses wrote that book. And the verse you memorized is something that Moses told the people of Israel. So your verse says, the Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. That is a great verse, isn't it? So I'm going to read to you a little bit from my Bible, and we're going to learn a little bit more about why Moses said those words to the people. So Moses writes in Deuteronomy chapter 30, you know God's laws, and it's easy to obey them. His commands are here with us. I'm giving you a choice, Moses writes. You can choose life and success or death and disaster. I am commanding you to be loyal to the Lord, to live the way the Lord has told you to live, to obey God's laws and teachings. If you obey God, you will live and become successful. On the other hand, if you choose to disobey the Lord and reject him, then you will not have long to live in the land. Will you choose to follow God so that he will give you a long life? Choose life, Moses says. Be completely faithful to the Lord your God and love him. Do what God tells you to do. The Lord God is the only one who can give life. Wow, those are some neat words from Moses, aren't they? Moses tells us that we need to follow God because God gives us life, right? 
So when you are feeling worried or sad, it's helpful to know that God loves us and that he's given us his commands to obey in our Bibles, right? And that we can choose to love God and have life with him. I will see you all later.